random return to YouTube because I'm going to the Airs tour this weekend in Miami. Very unexpected, very random. I'm just gonna jump right in, especially if this is one of your first videos of mine. I feel like it's kind of random. But basically, um, you know, I live in New York, but I went to the Airs tour, MetLife night two, and then LA night two. I went to the Airs tour when it was like Airs 1.0. Like they only had two surprise songs back then. There was no tortured poets department. We didn't even have long live. Like, anyways, I just feel like the new Airs tour is like a whole different thing. A friend of a friend was selling tickets. They were kind of expensive, but they were still like much cheaper than the resale prices. And I was like, well, you know, I have a big girl job now, I could go. And one of my friends lives in Florida, so we're going together and I'm also staying with her. So it's like cutting costs kind of. So long story short, we're going to the Airs tour. I'm cutting it quite close. It's Friday night. My concert is tomorrow because I'm going to night two. I'm going to take a morning flight tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and then I'm gonna get to Florida at 10 a.m. We're gonna hang out, get ready, whatever, go to Miami. Basically tomorrow is gonna be a very long day and tonight I'm just trying to like pack. That's kind of where this video is gonna start. I just wanna show you briefly like what I'm packing but I am gonna put like the timestamps. So if you wanna skip right to the Aeros tour part, you can do that. But if you wanna stay and watch me pack and show you what I'm bringing, then here we go. I am flying Delta and they let you bring a personal item carry-on so I'm bringing this, this is the brand Bag Smart, and it's like the smallest like carry-on. It's really good. I really like it. It's also a hard shell, so you can fit a lot of stuff. I never wore these to the Aeros, they're from Amazon. They're literally so comfortable, and the heel is perfect. Like, you can dance in them all night, and it goes really well with my outfit. My outfit, which I'm going to show you tomorrow, it is quite small. I got this from Depop, but I want to show you the outfits that I didn't end up picking for the Aeros, but I got these from Depop as well. This is what I thought I was going to wear, and then I got it, and everybody said I, it wasn't like that cute on me, and I was like, yeah, you're kind of right, but this is from free people i don't know it just kind of gave eros tour to me because it's like sparkly and red i just don't think this shade of red is very cute like i think a burgundy red that's what i thought it was gonna be i just think that'd be so much cuter and my main issue with this was the chest area just kind of like flattened everything and made me look very boxy and then this one <laughs> this one was like i just was like you know what let me get something really quick as a backup in case nothing else works. This also gives very Aeros tour. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I might keep this one for New Year's or like for a Halloween costume, I feel like it's cute. This one, I probably will just donate because I don't think I'm gonna need this. And I'm definitely not getting Aeros tour tickets ever again. They're so expensive. And then I just packed my makeup bag and then my skincare toiletries bag and my jewelry box. Like being a girl is so hard and I'm running a load of laundry with the rest of my stuff. But in the meantime, I also have to clean out the fridge and run the dishwasher and do all those things so just very much like trip oriented brain right now and i have to do all of this by obviously tonight because tomorrow i'm waking up hella early tomorrow i'm also washing my hair before i go to the airport because i don't want to deal with washing my hair once i'm in florida i am just so excited i literally feel like first of all i went to the Aeros tour so long ago like over a year ago i'm so excited to see the torture poets department like you don't understand i also heard a rumor that she's like changing the set list so i'm not gonna look at my phone tonight like literally i mean i think it'll be okay because tonight i'm busy packing tomorrow i'm busy flying then i'll be at the concert before we know it but i'm gonna make it a goal not to look at anything on my phone because I don't want to be surprised like I can make it 24 hours you know what I mean also Gracie Abrams is opening for Taylor Swift and I did not get Gracie Abrams tickets so I get to see her tomorrow and I'm literally so excited and her deluxe album came out today so all around really really good vibes packing update the laundry's done the trash is emptied recycling is gone fridge is empty I just had a big bowl of popcorn for dinner because all there was left in the fridge and then I just figured out what I'm bringing and now I'm gonna officially pack everything. Oh my God, not a single souvenir will be purchased from this trip, I fear. Okay, I think something has to come out. I'm gonna take this toiletry bag and put it in my purse. She's closed, yay. Now I'm gonna pack my carry-on bag. This is my work tote, I just like using it on the plane. Kindle for the plane, wallet, protein bar in case I get hungry on the plane my pills i like to keep this little makeup pouch of all the like essentials so mouthwash lipstick and perfume and contacts and stuff like that i just put this in my carry-on purse last step is to go through my bracelet box from eras tour last year i haven't made a bracelet since 2023 and i don't plan on making any bracelets before my flight tomorrow morning so i'm gonna look through this and hope that i left some bracelets behind and i can just use those you know the problem is i have really cute bracelet making stuff I just had no time this week, so I only found two 
in this box that I can bring with me to the aerosol. That is so depressing. Sorry guys, I'm failing as a Swifty. I did find this green one and it matches my outfit, so I'm gonna take this for myself. That's gonna be all for tonight. I'm gonna take some cough medicine and knock myself out and go to sleep just to make sure that I'm well rested for tomorrow. I have to wake up at 4 a.m. for my flight. Well, no, I have to wake up at 4 a.m. to wash my hair, blow dry my hair, shave my legs, and then go to the airport and then get on my flight. So yeah, this is um, part one. That was the packing. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog the airport journey. Guys, it's 5 a.m. I woke up at four, washed my hair, and Dyson air wrapped it, and then I got my little flight outfit on, and we're going. Oh my God, this tote is so heavy. About to call the Uber. It's only 20 bucks. Slay. I'm so excited. I'm gonna wear my glasses on the plane because I'm probably gonna go back to sleep, and I don't wanna have my contacts in for like 15 hours today. Let's go to the airport. Update guys, I didn't film anything on the plane or at the airport because I got scared. But we're here with Addy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but we have a little bit of a time crunch. We're gonna be home by 1.30. We need to leave Hopefully. by- Hopefully, like I just, oh, sometimes- they're like it's stressing me out. We have it's to It's stressing by me three. out too. We're staying with Addie, so it's not in Miami, so we have to take a train and so we have to get on the train by 3 30, leave at three. And like get adults ready. don't understand how much time it takes for us to get ready. <laughs> We're gonna be rushing on for it, but I, I would say we have a good hour fifteen. Also we could finish our transitions like on the train. I wanted to do the TikTok that's like Miami, like welcome to Miami. Yeah. And yeah, I wanted yeah, to do yeah. like different parts of us getting to Miami. Hello guys. I'm coming to you from Addie's room. She's getting ready in the bathroom, but I'm doing my makeup and and things got a little crazy. Basically, there's a lot of traffic, so we have one hour to get fully ready with hair and makeup. And now we have 45 minutes because I just finished my hair. I just curled it and I'm gonna let it sit. I always do hair first so that I can like cool fully. And I have this little tiny mirror to use. I'm trying to not get stressed out. I'm like a huge time sensitive person. Like if we're like even a little bit late or having to rush, I'm like, oh God, like I just got stressed out really easily. So I wish we had more time. My outfit tonight. Okay, so I ordered those dresses that I showed you as backup. And then when I was finding my actual outfit, I found this dress on Depop that looked kind of like Y2K vibes and it was green So I was like, okay, it's gonna get debut So I ordered it and then I showed Addie whatever and then she's like, oh, let me find something to wear and she happens Randomly to just find the exact same dress in dark gray So basically I'm going as debut and she's going as like reputation, but we're wearing the same dress but different colors It's really cool. Hopefully it looks cute I'll show you but we ordered it from Depop and just because I didn't have time to worry about like stalking a bajillion websites and looking for something but in the end, the dresses were a little small. Mine, I have to wear like a skirt underneath it because it's too short and doesn't cover everything. Oh, when I get rushed, I feel like my makeup doesn't look as good and I always am rushed. Like why am I always running behind? And I'm super cautious of time and I still am always running behind. Because I feel like last Halloween, this happened to me too where I was literally finishing my makeup as everyone was leaving and I was like, oh my God. So I'm trying to go quick because being a girl just takes so much time. Also a really funny story that happened this morning at the airport. So I. I was trying to stay off spoilers for the concert because like I said it's only 24 hours and I can make it 24 hours and in case she changed anything or added any songs or anything also I think this is a tad bright okay I think it's a little better anyways so like I said I was gonna just stay off spoilers because I was like I can make it one day and there are high chances that the set list is gonna change or there's gonna be like a surprise or something so I just you know like how much better would it be if I just didn't know any of that and I just went into it blind? Because for some reason, I've only ever been able to get tickets to night two of the Eras Tour. So I went to MetLife night two, then I went to LA night two, and now I'm going to Miami night two, which is just so funny because if you guys don't know the lore, which I'm so sorry, you probably all do, but I'm gonna say it one more time. The number one song I wanted when I saw the Eras Tour last year was Maroon, and she played Maroon night one MetLife and night one LA, which was really funny because I went to night two. I'm always ending up at night two for some reason. I always feel like night one is better because it's like the first night and everything and everything goes crazy. So last night I'm about to go to bed because like I said, I was feeling a little under the weather and I was like, I have to wake up really early to wash my hair. So I'm gonna go to bed at like nine o'clock and I start getting a bunch of texts from Addie and she's like, there's a new reputation outfit. And I was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. Like one, because Reputation is my favorite album. And two, because if she announced Reputation the night before I'm going, it would just be like the prophecy, like my personal prophecy that I always am going to miss out on like the stuff that's happening because I keep going night two. Weird. Because like, you know what I mean? Like first it was Maroon and that was personal twice in a row. And then if I missed Reputation by one night, I would have been like, are you kidding? It wasn't Reputation. Nothing happened. But that's all I knew, right? So this morning I woke up at 4 a.m. I checked my phone and I was like, oh my God. 
god what happened last night like i slept through the entire thing after she told me that reputation had a new outfit i was like that's my cue to go to sleep this morning i saw that there was no reputation so i was like oh my god and then i just started getting ready for the airport and then i don't check my phone i go to the airport i get in the uber or whatever i'm at the airport and i'm getting a tea and this girl comes up to me and she's like oh my god like are you going to the aerostore store because i was wearing my sweatshirt I, I was like oh my god yeah and we start talking and everything casually in conversation she was like oh well you know like florence was there last night and they sang florida and i was like what and she was like, oh yeah, like she was there. And I was like, I didn't know that. And then she was like, what? And I was like, oh, because I was trying not to look at my phone last night. And she was like, oh. And I was like, oh. So basically, I kind of assumed that she was going to sing Florida. Like that wasn't like shocking to me. But the fact that Florence Welch was there, and I'm sure she's going to be there tonight. Obviously, I'm not like, it's not that big of a deal. But it's just really funny to me how like I literally stayed off social media on purpose. And then someone came up and told it to me in real life. And I was like, Huh? What really gets me is if she had just not told me that which it's not her fault She didn't know and obviously like she assumed I knew because a normal person would go on their phone before the concert But I didn't know on purpose and it just like if she hadn't told me that I would have been Flabbergasted tonight. I would have literally been like What is Florence doing here? But I also am wondering why Taylor did Florida in London like this isn't new She did Florida with Florence in London. That's a long sentence. Oh my god like two months ago so i'm kind of confused but anyways i'm going heavy on the blush because i feel like road beauty blush whatever this is called We're not road beauty that's rare beauty road this one these don't stay that long on my face for some reason i put a lot of primer on but anyways just a really funny incident i didn't get to tell you guys about it earlier but i was literally laughing so hard and it was like five in the morning and i don't think addy knew either so there goes our we, we tried you know what i mean like we gave it our best effort we really did i'm like kind of concerned my makeup's coming out like shit because i'm doing it through the vlog camera this mirror is like doing nothing i feel like i just never do dramatic makeup like no matter how dramatic i try to go it just always looks like normal and the minute i leave the house it just like all blends off my face like it doesn't stay so if anyone has any tips i use the elf like grip primer but i feel like it doesn't work i think for the makeup i'm trying to do a sabrina carpenter vibe makeup look where it's just very light glittery like lashes oriented like very soft nothing's too harsh which is what i usually do so no surprise there but i'm gonna come back when i'm done getting ready because i have 30 minutes <clears throat> guys things are so bad these are my favorite lashes that i use i use them for like graduation for my birthday for like all these events they're also like 30 dollars they don't work there's literally no glue on them i don't have glue because the whole point is it comes with glue on the lashes it's not working so i'm doing my regular mascara routine and it's coming out so spidery and i'm just like can i just win can i just have one win please i fucking hate mascara so much like it's always hit or miss usually a miss and i'm trying all these different ones to try to make it look good and like it just keeps getting worse and i just i don't have time i literally have oh 13 minutes so i think i've done like 20 coats at this point i just keep trying to go over it and make it better and it's not working oh it's not looking good okay i'm gonna stop touching it whatever it is what it is we're done getting ready <laughs> <laughs> here are the fits so like i was saying mine's green with like a little stripe and then addy's is the dark gray version Ooh. it's actually so weird how which we, is crazy we found, them. found them yeah i also feel like this could be good for a tinkerbell costume no <gasps> i'm not blonde yes. <laughs> i'm still conflicted about this necklace but i don't have time to find another one so we're it matches that. the boots that yeah, you can't see says it, it's matching my brown cowboy boots. it does and then I'm gonna wear this dark brown bag. You know, same dress, <laughs> but in gray. And then tights, cause the dress is so short. And then these boots. Like the vibes of the outfits both match our personalities. I guys, I'm so excited. Yay, okay. We're at the train station. Thank God. I, I wonder, wonder, have a panic No, this day has been a whole panic attack. I wonder yeah. if everyone knows where we're going. I'm we're just not gonna alone. follow sparkles, honestly. Yeah, I know. Cause everyone else dressed normally. I'm like, no one's going to Miami. Guys, we found everyone who's going to the Eras tour. All we see are like sparkly outfits <laughs> and cowboy boots. So we've located them. Oh, the palm trees behind me is just helping the vibe. We have so an hour till Gracie and we took first a shuttle. Gracie time.
up there. It's been a very, very stressful, stressful day. day. We literally haven't breathed until right now. Congrats. And Gracie came on early. If it's a new bodysuit, it's rep tomorrow night.
okay guys next day we are gonna give you our thoughts but last night i didn't take any videos past surprise songs she and was very tired i was really tired during midnight i don't know i like felt that way the first time i saw eras too but like the minute she starts with lavender haze i'm clocked out so i just kind of like chilled and vibed at the last era of the concert but then we went home and i didn't vlog anything because it literally took us so long to get home we got home at we four like, yeah. in the morning i can't believe we did that actually <laughs> when we were leaving Addie wasn't as like strung out as i was so she was just kind of like okay like i think the bus is this way like because we had to take a shuttle to the train station so we couldn't find it and we walked like literally probably a mile or yeah a mile and a half just circling around the stadium it. to find the shuttle and then the shuttle like we thought it was gonna come like any minute now and we were sitting there waiting in the cold for like 40 minutes at I least think. like 45 minutes 45 time. minutes and we just kept thinking like any minute now so that was the worst feeling like nobody knew when it was coming so we spent like 45 minutes waiting for the shuttle then we took the shuttle for like 30 minutes yeah, it wasn't that long. It drove like to the train station and then I fell asleep on the shuttle and then I fell asleep on the train. Then I fell asleep in the Uber. <laughs> she was knocked. Every time out. I would just like wake up to go like change locations and then I'd fall back asleep. That was our journey home and like it was actually so exhausting. And the worst part of it was like it was freezing. I think like general thoughts. We needed to see Tortured Poets and that's <laughs> what we were there for. I love concerts, but I do think it's also different animal when it's in a stadium yes it's very different concert because we used to do harry concerts like you know a couple nights in a row sometimes like if he was doing like a weekend or whatever and i feel like one it's my age i do think i'm getting not like i'm so old now but i do think the older i get the less i'm like able to rally after concerts like i feel dead if yeah. i had to go to another night right now i would be like no and obviously like that's crazy that taylor swift does it herself but i also was thinking during the concert i do think like the last time i saw eras was 2023 you saw eras 2023 we saw the original, we saw the original eras with like no uh, tortured poets department and no like mashup surprise songs I think social media has really ruined stuff for me because I feel like I knew everything about tortured poets department All the changes that she made all the songs that she cut also because the movie came out I honestly think that's where I got a little bit like wait Why is the movie I was out? just about to say I think you had like a great point with the movie because I think we were watching the beginning of the era Like the lover era and like the little speeches she makes and like all those things And I was like I feel like I've been living this tour for so long like like we first saw it last year Like she's been on this tour for like a year and a half have, so I just felt like I was like oh my god almost two years I feel like I can do this whole tour myself I would be complex yeah I'd be cool and it's just like you're making me feel like like every single part of the show is the same thing I was too used to it I think if you went for the first time ever that's a whole different experience and like I remember the first right. time that I went it was a whole different experience too obviously I think honestly going three times was too much for me and I know I went very staggered like I went met life in May and then I went to California in August and then a whole year later I'm now in Miami October even though we saw different versions of the concert I still felt like they were very similar but I was thinking like oh I wish she would change it up more like I wish there was almost like a rotating set list maybe like not rotating com completely but like let's say like in one of the eras like one night she does a song from the album that's this song and then the next night she changes it like oh we were gonna say we both were saying that Gracie was chef's kiss like Gracie so blew good. my mind actually did so good she brought so much energy mm -hmm. like that was crazy good. I think it's like because I saw her um opening for the eras last year and I totally saw a difference like when I saw her last year she was so quiet not just her like the stadium like the speakers were really quiet it was the middle of the day it was like so bright they had no screens up it was just like her and I just remember I couldn't hear that much and then this year Gracie had like the whole stage like all the screens were on for her they had like the cameras following her and the sound was so good her new album like I think it just delivered the way that she sang all the songs yeah. and her voice was so loud like you could hear it everywhere and the whole stadium was definitely like captured like Addie was getting food before Grace Gracie came on early so we thought we had more time Addie was getting food and then the lights went down at like 6 45 mm -hmm. and everyone ran back to their seats no, I, literally, was watching. I was waiting and I see all like all these girls like running <laughs> also we we're gonna talk about surprise songs yesterday we were having the conversation about Addie went to the old tours like you've been to all the other ones and we were talking about like what surprise songs that you get and then she was like when i went to reputation tour i think i got should have said no yesterday night when she started singing and the bracelets are like green and i was like what is it gonna be stranger things the songs we used to sing and i was like what and then i realized it was debut and i was yeah. like how are we getting a debut song right now oh my god i like should have said no but i was like how do we keep how does this keep happening to me and then we got i did something bad and Which i win 
I do like that song. I just obviously like it more like when it's the full thing, like like the actual when it was on Reputation tour, I like that more. But I love Reputation and we love Reputation, so like obviously I was like, oh my god, Reputation song. But as a surprise song combo, I kind of wanted to do like a more sad. I, I love sad songs. But when it was like an angry mashup, I was kind of like, oh okay. So good mashup, not like exactly what I was like hoping for, I guess. But the two things I really wanted from this whole surprise song thing was Torture Post Department and Reputation song. We did get those. So then we got Love of My Life and White Horse, and I don't really care about white horse but i knew that like i knew she was gonna do white love horse. my life was very sad actually yeah it was fun seeing how she was gonna mash up the songs yeah the bridge and you get like four and she does perform most of it and it you don't really tell that she's switching between them it's cool my favorite from torture poets like i wanted guilty as sin or i'm gonna get you back or my boy only breaks his favorite toys that would have been crazy when we said reputation songs we really wanted like we just so it one. goes <laughs> so it goes or i would have taken dancing with our hands tied i love that song i feel like so reputation was. anything that's like more lovey like so it goes or king of my heart or like dancing with our hands tied like any of those i would have like those are my like god tier surprise songs or i don't want to live forever also would have been so she said my god tier surprise song the night before, the night before, we before went, so. this is me trying so yeah that um, was lovely i knew i wasn't getting that but i definitely think we didn't get bad surprise songs they we were like good them. combos but it wasn't like on my list like i wish there was something from my list holy crap at least it wasn't holy ground at least it wasn't a repeat like at least i mean yeah i should have said no was kind of a repeat yeah. for you but like it's been a while but i think that the debut reputation combo was for something else like i think that was for some sort of thing she's hinting at i don't really know debutation i'm not gonna say that yeah i don't want to like make a theory about everything i don't know but it, it's but been some, weird with something the was kind of weird about it and also she had a new dress for speak now and it was green it was like teal yeah, yeah and i was like what and then reputation had a new bodysuit i don't think there's gonna be a double album or anything but i was like it was just weird the combo of surprise yeah. songs and then the night before also got a debut song we'll see we'll have to see i'm kind of excited for her to do like a new project honestly i'm gonna be sad when the heiress for ends there's so many fun memories of like surprise songs and, like the live streams like this has been the last like two years of social media basically that's really cool but i'm also kind of excited to see something different and i wonder like what's coming next i honestly just love music from her like i love her performing and stuff but i I also love new music so i'm kind of excited to see whatever is next in that department even if there's no tour that's all i had to say anything else you have to say it's also so weird because thinking about her like when she tours again ever if you know like let's say yeah three years and how do you top this you literally don't you can't like let's say she puts out whenever she puts out a new album she goes to tour and she just tours that album okay you can't i don't know like like what do you reputation do? tour is amazing don't get me wrong but like thinking about a tour being one album feels like wrong like i totally think a tortured poets department tour could be done i would go to that in a heartbeat but i don't know how many more 31 song albums will be coming out and she already did tortured poets on this tour so we'll have to see anyways Thanks for watching, guys. I know it's a little bit of a choppy vlog, but hope you guys enjoyed watching our little journey. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.